Hey guys, it's Looming Wizard today, and welcome to my channel. Um, so some people on my Instagram has been um were questioning this. It's a double side. It's a double sided bracelet. One's a ladder, and one's more kind of like an X twister, if you can see it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. And yeah, so what you're going to be needing is three colors, or just how many colors you want. And you're also going to be needing a hook. You're crazy, a rainbow loom, and a C-clip. I'm getting a rainbow loom soon for my birthday, so um, I'm sorry that I don't have a rainbow loom. I really want one. So, so what you're going to be doing, if you want it a little thicker, like really thick like mine, you're going to be using double bands. If you want it to be thin, you just use single bands. I'm going to be using single bands for this bracelet. So then you're just going to come and just usually just do the border for a regular bracelet, which... Um, if you guys are on my Instagram, I could tell that you guys already know how to do the border, but. So, you're just going to go all the way up. And I'm not going to be, um, pausing the video or anything. I'm sorry, but. So, you just, you can skip through this until I, um, got this through. But, these are glow in the dark bands. And so, yeah. and then you're gonna come up and go over to the side. Don't not hit, go to that one. Most people don't have to do that. Okay. So, since I'm using single band, it's going to be a little easier to loop. Um, so. And, um, I use double bands for this one. This is why it looks so thick, like I said a while ago. I'm just trying to get out of the awkwardness and then go ahead and go through that one. Okay, so once you got your border done, you're going to be taking one of your colors. I'm going to be using green. I'm going to be using um, a single band since I'm using a single band. You're going to come down here, take it, and make an X, and then just place it there. And this is part of your X twister. And just keep doing that all the way up. And you might have to push your bands down. Just take it, X your, make an X or an 8, and then place side to side on the peg. And you can go, just keep going all the way up. This is a really simple, easy band. If you guys know how to do the ladder bracelet, then you're all the way set, you guys. You probably don't even need to watch the video if you know how to make a ladder bracelet. So just keep making an X for this. I also have a fun loom. If you guys want me to make other bracelets on my fun loom, um, tell me guys on my Instagram or on in the comment section but there's my fun loom and I don't use that unless for starburst so yeah okay make sure to follow me on Instagram um I'm looming wizard um just that's all I'll post pictures of other people's creations I made and my own creations, including on my Instagram. Um, there's a little phone I made, and I'll, if I can, if I can remember, I'll show you at the end of this video. But. Okay, so I'm almost done. There you go, and make sure to do everything well. Yeah, don't do this one though. Don't do the very last one. Okay, so once you got that, then you're going to be taking your um, color, your last color that you have, which mine's blue, and it's the same for my this color, and you're just going to go all the way up. Make sure not to um, go under any of the the X bands or yeah I just call them X bands so just yeah so just go up the middle row okay 
And then once you got it all in the middle row, like this, so I'm gonna zoom it in for you. You're gonna flip it around with the arrows facing away from you. You're gonna be using the color of your border color. Make an X and pull it over your finger. Just do two, two of the cat bands, and it should be placed at the very bottom one right here. So now you're gonna be taking your, uh, your hook. You're gonna go through that band you just placed and grab that, um, the color of your middle section, mine's blue. So you're just gonna pull that blue one forward. And I like getting this out of the way too, so just go through that cat band. Go to the left. And then go to the right. And then, this is my saying, some people I guess my, uh, my my friend says that it doesn't look like it. But at the bottom, if it looks like a Mickey Mouse, see how it looks like a Mickey Mouse with the ears and the nose and that? I guess this is only for Crazy Loom, though, that looks like that. But And so, okay. So don't do the sides because you're not done yet. So then just go up the middle because don't do the sides because we have another band to place. So just go up this middle. Do not go, do not mess with the green bands or the bands that you put on after after your border color. And then once you got that, so I looped all of this up. So you might have to pause this because I did that a little fast. So just pause this video if you're, I'm going too fast. But um, yeah, so that's what it looked like. So. And now you're just gonna take the border color, mine's glow in the dark or white, and do not cross it or anything. Just place them right on there, like a regular ladder bracelet. And just place them on there. Please no mean comments in the comment section below. Um, I don't really like, I don't like people being mean and all that. I just like to have fun. So, um, tell me guys what I need to, in, um, what other videos you want me to make, and what videos do you, um, would like me to make. Well, that was the same thing. Sorry, I can't really talk and do this at the same time. Okay. So, once you got them placed on, so it should look like this. Now, so then it should look like that. Okay, so now you're going to go through that Mickey Mouse band again. And just loop forward. Get th Go through them. You should ha have to go under two bands. So grab the bottom one. So this is how I do it. I take... I go, pull this band down and I go and grab that one and pull it forward. I hope that you guys can see that. Let me pull this back just a tad. Okay. So, yeah, so you're just going to keep doing this. And I'm not really good at doing this kind of stuff. I So, um, you guys can skip through this. I have to hold this on to my, like this. Keep going all the way up. I'd like to give out, uh, I would like to give a shout out to Made by Mommy. Make sure to go to her um, channel. She's one of the best loomers I know. She's she's a stay at home mom and she's really, really, um, she's a really good explainer on this. So then, uh, okay, so now you're going to go ahead and do the other side the same as the one you just did welcome. So that's what I was saying. Um, Made by Mommy is a really good. She on uh, she let's see, she explains things really good, I guess. But yeah. So I'm almost done. I'm thinking about showing you guys how to make um, this one bracelet I made. Um, I don't really have it on me right now, but. 
I don't know what, I think someone already made it up. I don't know, but I was experimenting and I made that. And I don't even know if someone made this up. I was just experimenting and did this too. So, okay. So once you have everything looped up and make sure that you, make sure you did loop everything up, you're going to stick your um, hook into the, all of the very top. I'm going to be taking a blue because I'm going to make the extension blue. So I'm going to take that. I twist mine to make it better to grip on to when you're going through this because this is always a hassle for me. So then you're going to take that and do not slip knot it because if you're making charms, like I love making charms. I haven't made a bracelet in a while except yesterday when I made this. But, okay. So then you should be, have the top and do not let that go or your whole bracelet will fall apart. Well, not your whole bracelet, but this part will. It holds the bracelet. I like starting from the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull it up. Now it's going to be a little thinner than this one, the one I'm wearing. So don't freak out that it looks different because I did single bands instead of double bands. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So there's the ladder bracelet and there's the X twister kind of. Now this ain't exactly X twister, you guys. So don't say in the comment section this ain't X twister. It's it it's supposed to give you an idea that it looks like it. So, yeah, so this is what they look it looks like the sword of X Twister and the ladder. If you don't know how if you know how to make extensions, hope you had fun looming and thank you so much for watching. Now if you don't if you don't know how to make an extension, stay toward this video. So for the ones who do not ha know how to make an extension, just say just think of how much you need on your wrist to because obviously this ain't going to fit my wrist. I guess maybe it could fit a toddler's if you're making it for your you're a, a toddler but I'm gonna be putting about five bands so just put them on a random. I like putting them at the bottom but you can pr pretty much put them on a random place that with the arrows facing away from you you're gonna go up um, just so, however you think I'm gonna go at five okay so then I'm gonna turn it around with the arrows facing away from me then you're going to place that thing that the the band that you had on your needle. Well, I call it needle. Some people call it hook, but my grandma says needle. And then you're just gonna hold that back. That's what I do. And then pull it forward, and you can let go. Just like you're doing a single bracelet, just loop it forward, and then to pull it towards the peg right there. Add your C clip right there and pull it off the loom and then take it and there should be a little the cat band we placed it should be right there and you're, that's where you're gonna hook it you're gonna turn it around okay. and there's my bracelet as you can tell, there's a difference in between the double bands and the single bands. This would be really good making two, so you could flip it over. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun looming with me. Um, I'm trying to. I'm gonna be trying to making a new video soon. See ya.